it's all very well selecting the patches using the value dial, like this. However, this can be a bit slow and laborious. We can speed up the action of the value dial by holding down the shift button. And this means we can move through in groups of 10. And this not only works when selecting patches, it works when editing any parameter value within the machine. Okay, so that's a little tip. Alternatively, if you want a slightly more direct access, you can use the numeric keypad over here. The patch group, whether it be user, preset A, preset B, and so on, is selected by holding down shift plus a number. Shift 4 gives us the GM set, shift 1, preset A, and so on. Once the group is selected, we then select the patch number directly by dialing it in. 25, for example, a box appears around the patch name, and we can confirm selection by pressing enter. And that's now selected that particular patch. OK. Still further methods for patch selection. A lot of uh, Roland users are familiar with a completely different way of organizing patches, the 8x8 system, often used on early Roland synthesizers, where you had eight banks of eight patches, giving you a total of 64 sounds immediately accessible. Well, we can treat the XP80 patches in exactly the same way. And at the top of the screen here, you see the patch number 25. An alternative patch number is also shown, subgroup A, bank 4, sound 1. Using this button here, A, B, C, D, I can toggle between subgroups, or sub-banks, A and B, and then select patches subsequently. So if I want to go to B88, 8, 8, I select it directly. Okay, so B88 is the equivalent of patch 128. It's just a different way of working. Finally, we have an interesting feature called sound list. This button here, press it once, and we can call up a display which shows the patch memory in groups of 10. You can see buttons here marked minus 10, plus 10. And this is a very convenient way of seeing the different patch types named. We can also change the group by using group plus and minus. Simply by rotating the dial, we can then move through the listing and we will hear the sound that we see. And so on. Very, very easy, very user friendly.